Not another meme coin? Oh no! Okay, look, we've seen this trend last 2020 since the almighty doggy coin got pumped by Elon Musk. And then here comes a huge wave of e news. But after all, most of these meme coins, well, they don't have any real use cases or fundamentals at all. I say most, not all though. Hey there, peeps, what's going on? This is Jeff, aka Nomad Fury, and we're back once again for another video. But before that, I have noticed that most of the viewers here haven't subscribed to my channel. So if you either enjoyed learning a lot from my helpful videos, I would really appreciate if you're going to smash the subscribe button, hit like, and turn on the notification bell. Okay, so right now I am going to feature Ryuji Inu. Not the actual dog, of course, but another meme coin. Oh! And if you've heard the term about meme coin, you would think something like... But oh, there's a nice twist here, which is play to earn. That's right, peeps. A meme coin combined with play to earn concept? Now that sounds really fantastic. But just like meme coins, not all play to earn NFT games are legit. And why is that? Because I've been rug pulled before. And I lost a lot of money. But at least I've learned a lot and I've bounced back slowly but surely. So before we begin, I would like to fully disclose that this is a sponsored video. However, to be fair enough for all of the subscribers and viewers here, this isn't gonna be biased. And on top of that, if you could see this disclaimer, I state that nothing in this video of mine is financial or investment advice. So only invest an amount that you can afford to lose and manage your risk very well. Because cryptocurrencies and play-to-earn NFT games are subject to substantial risks and has no promises or astronomical guaranteed returns. Especially with the special mention of meme coins which has very high volatility of its price whether it goes up or down without warning which depends on the outcome of the ongoing developments of a certain project like the Rio G Inu. Now, when it comes to this type of project, I am pretty sure that you're having a lot of questions that you have in your mind right now. So I am going to reveal some of the most important questions for Ryuji Inu before you're going to make your decision. So are you ready? Let's go. First question, is this another shitcoin in the making and going to rug pull in the near future? Okay, so I understand that you guys are sick and tired of shitcoins that didn't last long without any long-term real use case and fundamentals. And I know that you're looking for something that is truly worth your time and money. Although that there are no promises or guarantees here, it's too early for me to say that they are going to be another shitcoin and gonna rug pull in the near future. So here's the thing, Ryoji Inu claim that they are registered as LLC in the United States. It's not easy for any crypto or blockchain company, especially if you are a meme coin, to be registered as an LLC in the United States. And also, they're claiming to be the most safest meme coins out there, in which it's too early for me to say that though, as we're having fears in getting rug pulled once again, Ryoji Inu is making sure that they're not going to be the one of the majority meme coins out there that are going to fail or rug pull anytime. They have a state-of-the-art anti-rug feature that their contract is hard-coded to automatically burn liquidity. And when it comes to their tokenomics, it's mostly about taxes when it comes to buying and selling Ryuji tokens. So where do these taxes go? If you're going to buy, it will be allocated into four parts. 1% goes to the holder rewards. 5% goes to the liquidity, 6% for the marketing development, and 1% to the charity. As for selling, the only difference is that 2% goes to the weekly rewards, and 6% for the liquidity instead of the 5%, while for the marketing development, holders, and charity percentage remain the same for the selling part. Okay, that sounds convincing, but once again, it's too early to say that at least for now, just to be fair to everyone. This is why if you choose to dig in, only an amount that you can afford to lose is what you can spend right here and not going all in. Second question, do we think that their play to earn games ecosystem and reward structure is sustainable for the long term? If yes, how long will it be? Okay, so as what I have seen right here in their website, they're not just having one game only. There are a couple of games actually and there may be more to come later on. 
that are currently developed. The first one is a prize-winning game, and the other one would be the play to earn NFT. Although that there are no specific details yet on how to play these games, at least they have revealed on how we get rewarded right here with Ryoji Inu. If you are currently a token holder, you'll have a chance to participate and win prizes that are exclusively for members only. And not just that, every week, 2% of that will go to the holders who are winning the games and in the future, you might win priceless NFTs. At least that's kinda cool to me. But we'll see about that once the games are finally live and running. Third question, is the team fully doxxed? Okay, so yes, this is another important question that you need to know. I had to admit that most of the Anon teams have ended up scamming a lot of people and running away with their funds. I understand how you guys feel about it because I felt the same way too. But I know that not all of the Anon teams are scammers, you know? Now, how come that Ryuji isn't a scam? The good thing about Ryuji Inu is that not only the team has been doxxed once, not twice, but three times already. And where are they doxxed anyways? They are currently docked with Interfy, Pink Sale, and Phoenix Holdings. Which is somewhat impressive to me by the way. And if you're worrying about how many tokens does the team own, here's another good news peeps. The number of tokens that the team has owned are zero. Nada. You heard me right? At least that's a great sign in which there's no way that the team could make a rug pull attempt later on. Yes, they do have an anti-rug feature. But what about anti-whale? Yes, they do, because Max Wallets are restricted to only 1% of the supply and has an anti-dump system where the maximum was only set to 0.1%. Fourth question, how many years has the token's liquidity been locked? Okay, so this is another common question that most of the traders and investors are asking these days regarding the new projects on the block. So the good thing about Ryuji Inu is that 95% of their tokens are locked for 10 years and the liquidity goes automatically to the dead wallet, in which the team has no control over it. For me, I think this is another good reason why they might be able to stay in the long run. Fifth question, is the smart contract of Ryuji Inu already audited by any third-party audit service? Alright, so getting audited is one of the most important steps that a project like Ryuji Inu must do in order to prove their legitimacy to the community. Remember about Interfy, in which they're one of a few who have docs a team? Not only that they are triple docs, but Interfy are the ones who audited the smart contract of Ryuji Inu. Not convinced yet? Pretty soon, they're going to be audited by Certic in which you might need to wait for a little while though. Once they're officially being audited by Certic, now we're talking. And guys, just to let you know that the pre-sale has concluded and it was successful, so they have raised 200 BNB in total. So congratulations to those who have participated in the pre-sale. And also just to inform you guys that Ryuji Inu's token will be listed on PancakeSwap this coming February 15th. So if you have plans to exchange, so first, you have to copy the token address right here, guys. So pay attention to the mouse pointer right here. So before we are going to copy this address, make sure that this is the verified smart contract of Ryuji Inu. So if I'm going to click it right here, so it opens like this. And this is the official contract address of Ryuji Inu. So... I'm going to copy on this one and then we're going to use pancake swap right here. But take note that the official listing will commence on February 15th of 2022. So to give you guys an idea on how are we going to trade tokens. So first we have to connect our wallet right here and make sure that it's under the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to scroll down a bit for you to see. Now let's say you want to buy. All you have to do is to click this right here guys and then paste the official smart contract address of Ryuji Inu. So I'm going to do it right now. So it appears right here and click import. So I'm going to do that right now. So just acknowledge I understand and click import. So for now babes, there is no liquidity yet. Just like what I have said earlier, we can trade Ryuji tokens on February 15th of 2022. So take note peeps that this video is only intended for educational purposes. Okay, so now that you have learned everything right here about Ryuji Inu, especially the common questions that you have in your mind, do you think that I should recommend you guys in buying this token? Once again, just like in any other previous videos that I have shared, this is not financial or investment advice and I am not endorsing this project nor being an ambassador or a part of their team. But I've got to be honest with you peeps. 
I cannot answer that for you because this is considered as a high-risk investment due to the uncertainties of the cryptocurrency market nowadays. And we don't know yet about the future of Ryuji Inu. Like in a few weeks or a few months from now, we don't know yet. Because no matter which advice that you get, either from me or from anybody else out there, especially the experienced ones, only you can answer that for yourself. So if you think that Ryuji Inu is either for you or not for you, then that's your decision. Nobody would stop you. After all, it's important that you're aware of the risk around the corner. Just do your own research and only invest an amount that you can afford to lose and manage your risk very well. So if you would like to check out Ryuji Inu, just head over to their website at ryujiinu.com. And also, it's highly recommended that you should take time in reading their white paper for you to understand some in-depth information about Ryuji Inu and to follow their official social media channels that I have provided right here on my YouTube description to stay updated with their latest developments. Okay guys, I have a question for you. What do you honestly think about Ryuji Inu? Especially its features and their ongoing pre-sale. Do let me know right here in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and kindly share this to your crypto friends out there. And you want to stay updated with my latest videos, interviews, AMAs, and giveaways? Just hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Telegram. So guys, I'll see you all in my next video.